In this lesson, we'll go and learn about the break statements in a X++ programming language. So the break statement we have also used in our switch statement before. If you can remember there, we use a break statement to break or the terminate our or to exit out of our switch statement. So here the X++ provide a break statement for the following. So the terminate a loops, we can also terminating or we can also use it for terminating our loops and also a separate for a case statement in a switch statement. So we, we can use a break statement in a two place where one is in terminating a loops and one is in our switch statement. So let's go and see in a practical way how we can use a break statement in our loop. So here in our code, let us use a for loop. So we'll be taking our for loop that we have previously created. So inside this, what we will do is we will uh, just comment this out first. Let's comment this out and let us use the, this one. So that's more easy for us to use and we'll just terminate. Uh, sorry, now I have to open over here. And okay, so we have a for loop over here if you see and we have a i equals to 1 and i less than 10 and i plus plus then what we, what we did is we are printing it uh, we are printing the i and what we'll do is here we'll use the condition if uh, if if i is equals to equals to 5 when if we, we put a condition over here if i is equals to equals to 5 then what we want to do we want to break so this break will exit out the for loop so uh let's see in a, let's run and see what what the result we are getting out from here so let's try to run this and first we are getting one and second two three four and now it's five so after five what what is happening is the loop for loop gets terminated because of the break point that we put put over here so the break we can use in a for loop and let's use uh, one more so let us use a break in our while loop also for that we'll go to open our while loop and what we'll do is if you try to run this one what is happening is goes one two three four six seven eight nine ten so we have a 10 printout over here and what we will do is after this print out and increment we will check the condition if and inside this if what we'll do is if i is equals equals to five sorry i give it uh, i is equals equals to 5 then we want to break so let's try it and see what's the result 1 2 3 4 and now it should be 5 and it should get terminated that's correct so with the help of the break statement what we can do is we can exit out of the loop when our condition is met so maybe we're checking for something or maybe we're finding something through the loop and after we found it we don't want to continue with the loop and we want to exit out of the loop so that at that point we will use a break statement the break statement is very useful for our uh, loops and also for our switch statement so hope you guys had some understanding on how to use a break statement in a loops as well as in a switch statement so if you have any question on it do let me know and i will see you in the next video till then have a great day